This conference will now be recorded. And we have discussed what exactly the Salesforce CRM. What are the benefits that we have with Salesforce CRM? And why so many customers are adopting the Salesforce CRM to automate their business processes instead of using the other CRM applications like the PeopleSoft or Siebel or Microsoft Dynamics or any other CRMs. Instead of using those other CRM applications, why the people are showing interest towards the Salesforce CRM application we have discussed. And along with that, we have discussed the various cloud services offered by Salesforce to the customers also we have discussed in the last session. Now, so now today we'll see the CRM process or CRM terminology. These are also called as vocabulary. These are also called as vocabulary and the various objects that we're using as part of the Salesforce CRM application. <laughs> We'll see the concept of CRM process, and then we'll see the concept of the lead conversion process also, which is the base concept for CRM, which is a common question in every interview. Now, so that already we have discussed, CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management, which provides the various features through which we can able to automate all our existing customers' information and new customers' information. So by using this CRM application, by using this CRM software, we can automate. We can automate all existing customers' information and the new customer's information at one place. By using this CRM application, we can automate all the existing customer's information and the new customer's information at one place. He may be your existing customer also who is utilizing our product since very long time. Or he may be a new customer okay, who recently purchased our product or who is going to purchasing our product also, anybody. He may be an existing customer. He may be a new customer who wants to buy our product. So I would like to store all this customer's information at one place so that we are using the help of this CRM applications. So CRM application provides a facility to track the complete history of the customers at one place. And we can maintain, okay, we can maintain the 360 degree view of the customer at one place. We can maintain the 360 degree view. We can maintain the 360 degree view of the customers at one place. Then what do you mean by 360 degree view? 360 degree view means what? So now from capturing the customer, he may be my old customer, he is utilizing the product since almost some 10 years. So since the 10 years, okay, since the last 10 years, so now how many products this customer has purchased? How many times he has visited my organization? How much revenue we have generated from this customer? How much profit we got from this customer? How many complaints this customer has raised? What kind of solutions we have offered to this customer? What kind of benefits we have offered to this customer? What kind of discounts and services we have offered to this customer? Everything we can able to track at one place by using this CRM application that is also called as a 360 degree view. So 360 degree view means we can track the complete history, all the interactions we can track at one place by using this CRM application. So that from capturing the customer till now, the complete history, complete interactions, all the interactions we can able to track at one place by using the CRM application that is also called as a 360 degree view. So that by using the CRM application, we can maintain the 360 degree view of the customer at one place. That facility is available. And along with that, by using the CRM application, we can automate. 
we can automate all sales processes service processes and the marketing processes of our organization we can automate all the service processes sales processes and the marketing processes of our organization at one place by using this crm application so by using this crm application we can store all our marketing related features we can store the sales related data service related data the whole information we can able to place and we can accommodate and then we can able to maintain at one place with the help of this crm application now in this case whenever we are using the crm application it is having some specific process some specific terminology we are using over here as part of the crm we are using some specific terminology terminology means some words some vocabulary some objects we are using that so what is that crm process and then what are the various terminology that we are using as part of the crm process we'll see a practical now this crm process is also called as crm life cycle it is also called as crm life cycle now so in this case what exactly the crm process and then what are the various terminology that we are using as part of this crm process in salesforce especially we'll see it practically now when you go to any domain okay when you go to any domain there are some domain specific terminology okay there are some domain specific terminology like for example if you want to talk to a person then we have to talk to the person in the language which he can understand suppose i want to talk to one of the person the person will know only hindi english and telugu language if i am speaking with him in tamil he can't understand we need to talk to him in the language which he can understand like the similar way whenever if you want to use some domain specific application we have to use that terminology we have to use that terminology like for example okay for example so now we are having that insurance domain. insurance domain. everybody know the insurance because few people might be having some insurance policies also so now in this case what exactly the concept of insurance insurance is nothing but a concept it is nothing but a concept okay which provides a various ways to claim our damages whenever you met with some damages it may be the property damage it may be vehicle damage it may be health issues also what are the expenses that we did okay to recover those damages those expenses we can recover nothing but we can able to claim by using this insurance process so now in this case insurance is nothing but a concept which provides a various ideas to claim your damages to claim your damages so as part of insurance we are having some terminologies are available upon using this insurance we have to use some domain specific terminology over there like for example assume that here so now we are using that words like as insurance company insurance company in the sense what the company which is offering insurance like as some lsc hdfc future generally bharati axa these are all are the various insurance companies but as part of insurance domain these insurance companies are called as insure insurer okay insurer insurer means what the people who are offering insurance who is offering insurance insurance company so this insurance companies are called as insurer the people who are offering insurance those are called as insurer but generally in our real world we are calling it as insurance company but as part of the insurance domain we have to use the terminology insurer now for example assume that i took some insurance policy so that i am a policy holder okay i'm policy holder i'm also called as a customer of the insurance organization okay customer so now but as part of this insurance domain this policy holder nothing but the person who took the insurance that person is called as insured insured means what the person who took the insurance nothing but policy holder okay policy holder 
So now in this case, what happened when you go to the insurance domain, we are using some domain specific terminology. Like insurance companies will be referred as insurer. Policy holder of the customer will be referred as okay, insurer. Whenever we, you met with some accidents or whenever you met with some losses. So at that time, if that particular damage is very small, if it is a small damage, small damage, then it is called as spirals. Period. So now whenever if you're having the high chances are available, that means some more chances are available for the damages. More chances are available, then that is called as hazard. Like some different terminologies are available. Hazard means what? There is more chances to get some damages. Like for example, assume that my house is behind beside that a petrol pump. My house is available beside the petrol pump over here. So at that time, if something, some fire accident will be happening in the petrol pump, definitely my house will be getting affected. That means more chances are there, okay, for the damages for my house. Because I'm in a danger place. I'm in a danger place. I'm not in a safe zone. Because here, petrol pump is not a safe area. It's a danger place. So at that time here, beside the petrol pump, only my house is available. So there are some more chances are available to get some damages here for my house. At that time, that is called as hazards. Like that, we are using the various terminology as part of insurance domain, like as insurer, insured, peril, hazard, like that some domain specific terminologies are available as part of insurance. Like the similar way, whenever we are using some CMR, CRM domain, we are having some specific process. We are having some specific terminologies are available over here. We have to use some different terminology. Banking is having its own terminology. And the insurance is having its own terminology. CRM is having its own terminology. Now, so what are the various terms or the vocabulary that we are using as part of the CRM? What is that CRM process? Now, let's see practically in this case. Now. So let's take a small example and then let me explain that process over here. What exactly the CRM process? What are the various terminologies that we are using as part of this Salesforce CRM application? Let me explain. So let me take an example and then let me explain that complete process with that example. For example, assume that I have an organization. For example, assume that I have an organization. So this organization is some Dell. Okay, this is some Dell organization. I'm having an organization with the name Dell. So everybody is aware of this organization. Everybody knows about this organization. So what exactly this organization will do? They're into what basically? We are having some ready labs. Ready labs into what? Pharmaceutical manufacturing. So not Dell. They are into what? They are also into the manufacturing. What they are manufacturing? Pharmaceutical products? No. They are manufacturing some hardware devices. When coming to the Dell, Dell is one of the manufacturing organization. It is one of the manufacturing organization. What they are manufacturing? They are manufacturing the various hardware devices. The manufacturing the various hardware devices like laptops, desktops, mobiles, tabs, webcams, keyboards, mouse, the various accessories of those products. When coming to the Dell, Dell is also one of the manufacturing organization. These people are manufacturing the various hardware devices. They're manufacturing the various hardware devices like as laptops, desktops, mobiles, printers, projectors, scanners, tabs, webcams, and the various accessories. They're manufacturing the various accessories. Accessories means what? These are the small, small parts of those products. Like as keyboard, mouse, like that. These are comes under accessories parts here. So then people are manufacturing the various hardware devices like laptops, desktops, mobiles, 
projectors, scanners, webcams, the various hardware devices are manufactured. Now, so now, now tell me, really people are manufacturing each and every part of this product? Like for example, when you go to that laptop, it is having so many internal components. Laptop internally having so many internal parts. Like it is having a screen. It is having some keyboard. And it is having that internal hard disk. It is having processor. It is having RAM. It is having the, the motherboard. So like there's so many internal parts are available. Now tell me really, Dell people are manufacturing each and every part of this product? No. Basically, Dell people are not manufacturing even though even the single part of the product. Dell people are not manufacturing even the single part of the product. So they're not manufacturing even a single part of the product. Then you can raise the question, sir, if the Dell people are not manufacturing even a single part of the product, then how they are providing these many number of products with the different models, with a different configuration, with the different features, with the different designs, with the different prices. How the Dell people are inverting latest models of products? In this case, basically, Dell people are not manufacturing even a single part of the product also. Dell people are going to be purely concentrating on two things. Dell people are purely concentrating on two things. Like, Dell people are concentrating on the first one, they're concentrating on the design. That means how will be my next model of laptop look like? How will be my next model of desktop look like? How will be my next model of projector look like? How will be my next model of printer look like? That means they're concentrating on the design because the design is very, very important for every product. Whenever the people wants to buy the product, first of all, they're looking into the design. Features are secondary. Features are secondary. Configuration is secondary. First of all, they're looking into the design. If the design is good, then they will look into the remaining things. Because what is the price? What is the features? Configuration? These are the secondary thing. First of all, they're looking into the design. If the design is good, if the color is good, then if it is look like attractive, then definitely people will spend some will spend some money to buy that product. So that then people are mainly concentrating on the design. First of all, they're concentrating on, so how will be my next model of laptop look like? How will be my next model of desktop look like? They're going to be preparing the design of the product. And the second one, they're mainly concentrating on the futures. Nothing but what new features they're planning to introduce inside this product. Inside this latest product, what new features they're planning to introduce? Because whenever we are introducing some latest models into the market, definitely we have to add some new enhancements, right? Definitely we have to provide some latest features, right? Then what new features we are planning to introduce inside this new model over? They're concentrating on only these two, okay? Mainly they're concentrating on the design of the product. Second one, they're going to be concentrating on the new features which they're planning to introduce as part of the product. So once the design has been finalized, once the new features list has been finalized, then according to the design, according to the new features, what are the parts are required to prepare those products? All these parts are collecting from the various vendors. They're collecting the parts from the various vendors. Vendor means what? Vendor is nothing but an organization which is expert while manufacturing that part. Like for example, okay, like for example, assume that if you want to go with some Suppose, for example, if you want to buy any, like as a mouse, then we are going to be preferring to go with that Logitech mouse. Logitech mouse are very brand. Logitech is an organization which is a brand that is manufacturing purely the mouses. Now, suppose, for example, if you want to buy any processor, then, okay, like as we are going with that Intel. But the Intel processor is a having very good brand. Like that here, okay, like that here. So we are having so many vendors. Vendors are nothing but these are also the organizations who are experts, okay, who are expert in that particular product, in that particular part. They may be having the expertise in either in manufacturing the RAM also, or processor also, motherboard also, keyboard also, hard disk also, whatever. These are experts. So in this case, when coming to the Dell people, Dell people are not manufacturing even a single part of the product. They are going to be having the contacts with the various vendors. By contacting these vendors, they're collecting the required parts. 
what were the parts are required to prepare these uh, products what were the parts are required all this uh, part they're collecting from the various methods like ram from one vendor motherboard from another vendor hard disk from another vendor keyboard from another vendor mouse from another vendor smps from another vendor like that they are going to be contacting the various vendors by contacting these vendors they are going to be collecting the required parts once all the parts has been getting collected from these vendors all these parts are going to be placing inside a location that is called as dell warehouse this is also called as dell pack what are the parts are required okay what are the parts are required to manufacture these products what are the parts are required all these parts they are collecting from the various vendors or from the various organizations and all these parts are placing in a location that is called as dell warehouse or dell factory when coming to the india in india also we are having one dell factory which is in chennai dell is having one factory in india that is also in chennai location so dell's a major warehouse the dell's major factory is available in chengdu which is in china Okay, in China we have a location called as Chengdu. In that Chengdu we are having the Dell major warehouse is available, where exactly they are going to placing all the parts. What are the parts are required to prepare all these products? All those parts are going to placing inside that the Chengdu location. That means Dell's a major warehouse. From there they are going to be distributing these parts to the various Dell factories in the entire world. In India also we are having one Dell factory which is in Chennai. So now once the parts has been collected. all these parts are placing inside the dell warehouse or dell factory and then once the parts are available inside this dell factory then inside this dell factory the actual manufacturing people are available actually the manufacturing people are available inside this location in the dell warehouse or in dell factory we are having the actual manufacturing people now this manufacturing people are going to be collecting all these parts once all the parts have been getting collected now based on this parts they are going to be assembling all the parts they are preparing the various products assemble the parts and prepare the products so now the actual manufacturing people are going to be collecting each and every part from this dell factory and then they are going to be assembling all this parts and they are going to prepare the product it may be laptop it may be desktop it may be mobile whatever they are going to be preparing the product so once the product is ready okay once the product is ready how can we sell out this products dell people are manufacturing the products in terms of bulk they are not manufacturing 10 products they are not manufacturing 100 products they are product manufacturing the products in terms of bulk some lakhs of pieces they are manufacturing lakhs of new models of desktops lakhs of new models of laptops they are manufacturing so to prepare this products they are investing some millions of dollars in order to prepare this product they are investing some millions of dollars so once all the products are ready then what we can do we need to sell out our products over okay we need to sell out our products to whom to the common people what are the products we have manufactured these are not utilizing by the dell employees these products they are going to be selling out to the common people over so before selling out this product to the common people first of all inside this dell factory they are going to be having the proper testing they will do that testing over testing the product they are going to be testing each and every product over here once the products are working fine then they are going to be releasing this product into the market over here. so then how can we sell out this product right now what we can do as a dell manufacturing employee we know that okay as a dell employee or as a dell manufacturing employee or a dell partner we know what are the new models of laptops dell people has manufactured what are the new models of desktop they have manufactured so what are the new models of mobiles they have manufactured what are the new models of projectors they have manufactured we know that what is that product look like how the colors are available how the design look like what features are available what configuration is available what discounts they are offering what benefits they are offering what services they are offering what is the price of the product everything we know that we know the whole information about this product but this product is not utilizing by the dell people these are going to be utilizing by the common people then how can we sell it out this to the common people because the people are very clever nowadays 
If you want to buy the two rupees pen, first of all, we are testing whether this product pen is working properly or not. Pen is writing properly or not. Is it comfortable to write or not? If it is working properly, then only we are paying the two rupees to that shop owner. But these products are very, very expensive. So in this case, without having the proper testing, how the people will do the investment? How the people will trust my product? How the people will buy my product? The people should be aware of, right? How the product look like the people should be aware of. So that here, in order to, okay, in order to give the information about that product, what are the laptops or desktops manufactured by the Dell people? So now once the products are ready, once the products has been getting tested, then, they are going to be giving the information about this product to the various common. How can we give this information? For that one, they are going to be using a feature called as marketing feature. They are using the marketing process. Inside this Dell organization, they are having a marketing team. Okay, they are having the marketing team. In that marketing team, they are having the very various employees are working in that marketing team, like as marketing heads marketing managers, marketing executives, they're having the so many people working in that marketing department here. So in order to give the information about the product to the common people, we are going to be using this marketing department that is called as marketing process. Inside this marketing department, they will be having the various team members are available. In the marketing team, they're having the various employees such as the marketing head, marketing managers, marketing executives, etc. So many people are working inside this marketing department. So now in this case, now this marketing team is going to be promoting our products. So what is the main aim of this marketing team? What is the job of this marketing people? Marketing people's main job is the how to promote our products. Promoting means what? Giving the information about our products to the common people. Giving the information about our products to the common people. So we have to give this information because as a marketing team of Dell organization, we are the Dell employees. We know how the new models of laptops look like, how the new models of desktops look like, what features are available, with what colors we have manufactured, everything we know. But these products are purchasing by the customers. That means common people. So those people should aware of what is the products configuration, what is the price of the product, how the design look like, what features are available, they should be aware of. So to give this information to the common people, they are going to be using this, the various marketing channels. They are using the various marketing channels. With the help of this marketing channel, they are going to be promoting the products. To promote the products. In order to promoting the products, promoting means what? Giving the information to the people. Now, so in this case, whenever the marketing team is going to be promoting the products, they're using the various marketing channels. Then what are the various marketing channels that we have okay, as part of our marketing department? What are the various marketing channels you are aware of? When coming to the marketing channels, we have so many marketing channels are available various marketing channels. When coming to the marketing channels, that means marketing channels means the various ways to do the marketing, okay, the various ways to do the marketing. Like here, as part of marketing channels, we can conduct some campaigns. We can conduct some stands. We can go with TV advertisements. We can go with the theater advertisements. We can go with pamphlets. We can go with posters. We can go with banners. We can go with hoardings. We can go with events. We can go with some trade shows. We can go with some web conferences. And we can go with digital marketing. We can go with email marketing. We can go with telemarketing. We can go with social marketing. And then we can go with some free samples. 
like that we are having so many ways are available to do the marketing in order to do the marketing we have so many ways are available these are all are called as marketing channels these are all are called as marketing channels channel means what a way a way to give the information to the common people so in order to do the marketing in order to promote the products we are having the various marketing channels are available like we can conduct some campaigns also stalls also tv advertisements theater advertisements pamphlets posters banners hoardings events trade shows web conferences digital marketing email marketing telemarketing social marketing free samples like that so many ways are available in order to do the marketing so to promote that products okay to promote the products we are having the various marketing channels now as part of this marketing department what they will do first of all they have to promote that products that means they have to give the information to the common people so what are the new models of laptops and desktop they have manufactured regarding the product they have to give the information to the various common people so that the common people should be aware of they should be know how the product look like then only they can take the decision to buy that product over there so now here in this case okay so now here in this case the marketing team is using the various marketing channels in order to promote that products then what they are going to do as part of this marketing channel so what they are going to do as part of this marketing channels then what will be the process they are following now let me explain now so now whenever they are going to be conducting suppose for example dell people wants to conduct a campaign campaign is nothing but a small stall they will conduct beside the road and they will be giving the information about this process whenever you are going on the road beside the roads people are going to be conducting some campaigns regarding some cars also regarding some two wheeler vehicles also the people conducting the various campaigns to promote their products now so in this case here when coming to the dell people the dell marketing team wants to conduct some campaign whenever if they wants to conduct the campaign first of all they have to select a crowdy area okay they have, they have to select a crowdy area in order to conduct a campaign dell people wants to conduct a campaign whenever if they wants to conduct a campaign in order to promote their newly manufactured products they have to select a crowdy area they have to select a crowdy area so now why we need to select the crowdy area because if the area is having so much crowd then we can give the information about our product to more number of people in one shot in order to give the more information to the more number of people in one shot they would like to select some crowdy area suppose for example dell people has conducted they would like to conduct some campaign in one of the area called as some amirpet for example they would like to conduct the campaign in amirpet why because is yes, amirpet is a very crowdy area where from morning to evening so many people are passing through this area from morning to evening so many people are passing through this area so that this is the right place to conduct the campaign so that we can give this information to that more number of people in one shot so that there is a chance to capture more number of customers also for that reason they would like to conduct this campaign now so now whenever they are going to be conducting the campaign here in this amir pet area where exactly they would like to conduct the campaign some beside some maitri vanam building beside this maitri vanam building they would like to conduct this campaign so now in this case okay now here in this case upon selecting this area they will verify they will verify whether we are able to capture all the categories of people or not all the categories of people are people means what now we have manufactured laptops desktops mobiles like this that means now tell me who can use this product only the it professional people no now as a student can i use that laptop yes as a kid can i use that laptop to play some games yes as a business person can i use that laptop to prepare some business proposals yes as a it professional can i use that product yes as a housewife can i use yes everybody can use that means here what are the products they have manufactured these are not only utilizing by the it professionals everybody can use students also can use kids also can use engaged people also can use older people also can use business people also can use professionals also can use everybody can use 
So in this case, they would like to verify in this American area, are we able to capture all these categories of people or not? They will verify. They will analyze that. Blindly, they won't conduct the campaign. They will do all this necessary investigation before selecting the right place to conduct the campaign. So now in this Samir Pet area, we are able to capture all these people or not? Yes. Because in this Samir Pet area, so many students are there. So many kids are also there. So many, the businesses are also there. So many IT professionals are staying in this area. So many people are staying in this area with their families so that this is the right place to conduct the campaign. So that their people have selected a place that has Amirpet. In that Amirpet, especially, they would like to conduct the campaign behind this Maitri Banam building. Behind this Maitri Banam building, they would like to conduct this campaign. Then what they will do basically here upon conducting this campaign? Now, let me explain in this case. So behind this Maitri Banam building, they would like to conduct a small campaign. That means they would like to establish a small tent. They are placing a small tent over here. They are placing a small tent. Behind this Maitri Banam building, they are going to place in a small tent. So this is the Dell campaign they are conducting over here. So this is the Dell campaign which they are conducting right now. So this is the Dell campaign which they are conducting, which is in Amir Pet area. So now here they are placing a small tent. So what they would like to do in this tent, in this tent, they are going to place in recently manufactured products for the display purpose. What are the products they have manufactured recently? All these products are placing inside this campaign, inside this tent for the display purpose. So what are the desktops they have manufactured recently? They are placing these desktops also inside this place for the display purpose. Now, so now the Dell people are going to be conducting a small campaign. Inside this campaign, they are placing the recently manufactured products for the display purpose. What are the desktops they have manufactured? They are placing those desktops inside this campaign for the display purpose. What are the laptops they have manufactured recently? So now these laptops also are placing inside this campaign. What are the mobiles they have manufactured? Nothing but the smartphones. These are smartphones also they are placing inside this campaign for the display purpose. What are the printers they have manufactured recently? Those printers also they are placing inside this campaign for the display purpose. The campaign cell, the printers also they are placing inside this campaign for the display purpose. So that means what? What are the products they have manufactured recently? All these products they are placing inside this campaign for the display purpose. These are the various products which they have manufactured recently with a good configuration, with a different configuration, with the different features. All these products are placing inside this campaign for the display purpose. Now, along with these products, they will be having the Dell marketing team people also. Nothing but the Dell marketing executives also will be available inside this campaign. So inside this campaign, they will be having this Dell marketing executives are also available over there. So the Dell marketing executives also will be available inside this campaign. Now, they will be having the Dell marketing executives are also available inside this campaign. They will be having the Dell marketing executives are also available inside this campaign. So now here in this case, now they have set up a small tent in the tent they have placed the recently manufactured the products for the display purpose because suppose for example if you want to buy a mobile first of all we are going to the mobile showroom and then in that mobile showroom at the starting you will be having a big desk on that desk you will be having some demo pieces just you can play with the demo pieces if the features are good if the design is good then only we can decide we can buy the product or not like the similar way the people want to see how my products are look like for that reason here, I would like to provide these products for the display purpose to the users by placing inside my campaign. So, so once the products are available here inside this campaign, as usual, okay, as usual every day, so many people are passing through this campaign. 
as usual every day so many people are passing through this camp so now here this is the area over here so this is the area is available over here every day so many people are passing through this camp as usual every day so many people are passing through this area so many people are passing through this area so many people are passing through this area assume that myself okay myself assume that i came to the amir pe in order to attend my session recently i have joined some java course at salesforce course in one of the institute in amir pe so every day morning at 7 o'clock i am coming to the session at to amir pe and then i am attending the session from 7 to 9 in the morning after that i am going back to my home this is my daily routine is happening so as usual since almost one month every day i am passing through this area my three one building so now today also i am passing through this area and then whenever i'm passing this area through this area today i found something new i found something new that means behind this maitri banam building there is a small tent is available since almost one month i'm keep on passing through this area but nothing is there as of now but today whenever i'm passing through this maitri banam building so i have observed something new then what will be the human mentality in this case whenever you if you are observing something new then as a curiosity as a curiosity i want to know what's going on there that may be useful to me or not it's a secondary thing okay that may be useful to me or not it's a secondary thing but i want to know what's going on there because of some curiosity because of the human curiosity they want to know what's going on there so because of my curiosity also i want to know what's going on there so that sir i am visiting this campaign over here whenever i'm reaching to this campaign one of the dell marketing executive will start the conversation with me one of the dell marketing executive will start the conversation with me so now he is going to be start giving the information about each and every product so now the dell marketing executive is going to keep on okay explaining each and every product to me here so he is explaining the product of this the desktop also it's a features configuration and everything laptop product and features and configuration mobile also and the printer also each and every product of feature he is keep on explaining to me one by one one by one one by one once he has given the whole information once he has given the whole information that means what the marketing executives are going to be giving the whole information about the product they are giving the information about the organization they are giving the information about the product and what new features they have introduced inside the product and then what are the benefits that are offering on this product what are the discounts that are offering on this product what are the services that are offering on this product what are the warranties that are offering on the product what is the configuration of this product what is the price of this product the whole information they will provide to you once they have given the whole information finally they are going to be giving a small form to you to fill up your details they will be giving a small form to you to fill up your details they have given the small form over here to fill up my details i need to fill up all my details over here now so in this case here i have filled up that form and then have submitted this form to the marketing executive that means what i am also one of the person who just showed interest in dell products i may buy the product or i may not buy the product it's a secondary thing i may buy i may not buy it's a secondary thing but just i showed some interest to buy that product over here just i showed some interest in the dell product so in this case the people who just showed interest in dell products those are called as lead okay those are called as lead those are called as lead what do you mean by lead lead is nothing but a person who just showed interest in your product or service you may be offering either product or you may be offering either services also you may be offering either product or service in your product or in your service if anybody showed interest those people are called as lead now so now here in this case when coming to that lead lead is nothing but a person who just showed interest in the product or service 
So because here I just visited this Dell campaign, thus I showed interest in the Dell products also. I may buy the laptop, I may not buy the laptop. It's a secondary thing, but thus I showed some interest. So I am also one of the lead. So this lead is also called as prospect. Lead is also called as prospect. And this lead is also called as potential buyer. Potential buyer. This is also called as potential customer. Potential customer. That means he is not customer. Lead is different. Customer is different. The lead is different. Customer is different. Lead is different, customer is different. And then you can raise the question, sir, what is the difference between these two? Lead in the sense, the person who just showed interest. The people who just showed interest, those are called as lead. The people who are purchasing your product, those are called as customers. Okay. So the people who are utilizing your products, those are called as customers. The people who just showed interest, those are called as lead. That is the difference between these two. So in this case, we are capturing some leads. How? By conducting some campaigns. With the help of by conducting some campaigns, we are capturing some leads. So that here, we are conducting a campaign. With the help of these campaigns, we are capturing some leads information. We are capturing some leads information. So campaign is what? Campaign is one of the marketing way. Campaign is one of the marketing way. The campaign is one of the marketing way in order to promote our organization products. So through that campaign, we can able to capture the leads information. That means we can capture the people's information who are really interested in our product or services. Okay, now, so in this case, now tell me here in this case. So now, what is the difference between this two? So lead is one terminology we have used, and then campaign is another terminology we have used. So now these are called as okay, these are called as objects. These are called as objects as part of sales for CRM. Object means table simply. In our general terminology, we are calling it as a table. In Salesforce terminology, this is called as object. Now, so now here in this case, this is the campaign table, lead table. All the campaigns information is available inside this campaign table. All the leads information is there in the lead table. These are called as objects. Okay, these are called as objects. These are called as objects or tables. In our real world, we are calling it as a table, but as part of CRM domain, we have to call it as object. Object means table. That's a simple concept. Now, so in this case, we are having that campaign. By conducting one campaign, how many leads we can capture now? Now tell me here they are placing one tent. In that one, they are going to be giving the information about the recent they manufactured products. So campaign is only one, only one campaign they're conducting over here. Now tell me how many people will visit this campaign? So many. So today I showed interest in this campaign, in this product. Like me, so many other people will be showing interest to, okay, look into that Dell campaign to see the products. That means not only myself, so many other people are also showing interest. So that here by conducting one campaign, we can capture multiple leads information also multiple people will visit this campaign in one day so that here by conducting one campaign we can able to capture multiple leads as well okay multiple leads so that between this campaign and the lead we are having one too many association okay one too many association that means campaign is the parent lead is a child because one parent can have multiple childs same concept here also so that one campaign okay will be used to capture more number of lead cards that means by conducting one campaign we can capture more number of lead cards in profession now this is a process that we follow as part of marketing now when coming to the marketing team, marketing team's main job is what? Marketing team's main job is they have to find out the suitable marketing channel and through that channel, they have to promote the product. And then by promoting the product, they have to capture the leads information. That means they have to capture the people's information who showed interest in our product or service. 
so once the people's information has been captured once the leads information has been getting captured what this marketing people will do so what are the leads information has been captured this leads information they're passing to the sales team through this marketing channels they are going to be capturing the leads they will collect the leads they will collect the leads and then this leads information they're passing to the sales team over here. they will pass to sales team that means here as part of marketing department my as a marketing manager or a marketing head or a marketing executive my job is over my job is what okay as a marketing member it is my responsibility i have to conduct the various marketing channels through the marketing channels i have to promote the product that's it and i need to capture the lead records information that's it my job is over i'm not involving in sales i'm not involving in service my responsibility is only for marketing that's it i'm done with my job so the marketing teams people are going to be conducting the various campaigns through those campaigns they're collecting the leads information this leads information they will pass to the sales team now inside the sales team who are all the members are available as part of this sales team they will be having the various members like as the sales head sales managers and the sales executives the various members are working in that sales team now what this sales team will do now okay what the sales team will do now so now what are the leads information has been given by the marketing team the sales team will collect those leads information okay the sales team will collect this leads information now the sales team is going to start contacting the leads they will contact the lead so over the phone that means by giving a call to the lead person or by sending an email notification or by meeting the people directly by taking the appointment okay by meeting the people directly by taking the appointment like for example assume that every day you are receiving so many calls regarding open plots regarding credit cards regarding personal loans regarding home loans regarding insurance policies you are receiving so many calls right who are making those calls sales team will be making the call to you if you are really interested to take that if you want to really interested to take that loan then you can inform them boss i am interested then they will come to your place they will complete the necessary formalities they will provide the loan to you that means what those people are the sales team okay so sales team now once the leads information has been captured by the marketing people by conducting the various campaigns those leads information will be passing to the sales team now the sales team is going to be contacting the lead over the phone or by sending some email notification or by meeting the people directly also by taking some appointment so once they meet the people then they will start giving the information about the product they will be giving the information about the organization they will be giving the information about the new features which they have introduced they're giving the information about the configuration of the product prices of the product warranty information services information discounts information everything the whole information they will provide to that lead person and then if required they will contact the lead multiple times also they will follow up with the lead multiple times also finally they will convince the lead to buy the product so the sales team is going to be keep on contacting the lead okay to convince the person to buy the product their main aim is what their job is they have to make the person to buy the product here we have to give the information about our product clearly if the request we need to offer some discounts also and finally we need to convince the people to buy the product so that is the main aim of this sales team so now here in this case here so the sales team is going to keep on contacting the lead multiple times and finally they will convince the people to buy the product once the lead person is ready to buy the product okay once the lead is ready to buy the product once the lead is ready to buy the product once the lead is ready to buy the product then we are going to be converting the lead as customer then we will convert the lead convert the lead as a customer convert the lead as a customer that means here we are converting the lead as a customer 
till now he is our lead that means the person just showed interest in our product but now he is my customer because he is going to be purchasing the product he is ready to buy my product so that here i would like to okay convert that lead as our customer okay we need to convert that lead as a customer so now here in this case whenever we are going to be converting the lead as a customer salesforce is generating three records upon converting the lead as a customer salesforce will generate three records salesforce generate three records what are those first of all it is generating an account record second one it is generating a contact record third one it is generating an opportunity record these are the three records will be generated by salesforce so whenever we are going to be converting the lead as a customer salesforce is generating three records first one is account second one contact third one opportunity these are the three records will be generated by salesforce when upon converting the lead as a customer whenever you are converting the lead as a customer because lead person ready to buy my product so now from now onwards he is now no more our lead he is our customer right now so that whenever we are converting the lead as our customer salesforce is generating the three record that is called as account and the contact and opportunity then what is this account record contact record opportunity record now let me explain now account record so what this account record contains basically over here so what this account record contains account means what generally account in the sense customer account means customer suppose for example when you go to a bank okay when you go to a bank to open a new account here then what they will provide account number they are not providing customer number they are providing account number account means what customer for example i am using gmail so now what you are using gmail account okay i am using gmail account that means here i am also one of the customer of gmail that means what account means customer in our real world we are calling it as customer but in the crm we are calling it as account account means customer this is the just the terminology difference that is that's it nothing else concept is very very simple just we have to observe the terminology that's it concept is not new concept is regular concept only but as part of that domain we have to use this terminology here each and of using our real world words we have to use those terminology that's it account means customer so account record contains what account record contains the basic details of the customer it contains the basic details of the customer it contains the basic details of the customer like as what it will be holding the customer name name of the customer and the industry to which industry the customer is associated whether this customer is belongs to banking industry finance industry he is working in chemical industry or technology or what we can able to collect that and then rating that means what is the rating we are giving to the customer here we can give high rating or low rating or what we can give the rating also and then annual revenue of the customer what is his annual revenue over type of the customer how this customer has approached us we can capture this information and then we can contact that customer based on the phone number we can collect that contact for customer's phone number also customer fax number also website if the customer is having his own website then what is that website mean and we can collect the billing address information and the shipping address information and then customer priority and the customer active status this whole information we can able to collect okay as part of this account record so account record contains the basic details of the customer like the name of the customer industry to which he is associated rating value of the customer annual revenue of the customer type of the customer phone number of the customer fax number of the customer website name billing address shipping address 
customer's priority, active status, this whole information will capture as part of this account record. So whenever we are converting the lead as a customer, so Salesforce is generating this account record. This account record contains the basic details of your customer. Okay, now the second one, the contact record. You know, what is this contact record? Contact means what? Contact details. In order to contact this customer, whatever the contact details are required, all this information is available inside this contact record. Like we have a person, then how can we contact him based on some details, such as his phone number, fax number, email ID. He may be having, he may be a VIP person also. He may be a politician also, so that he is having one assistant or he is having a manager. We need to contact that manager. What is that manager's contact number? What is his mailing address? The whole information we can capture so that to store all the contact details. Now, it contains the contact details of the customer. In order to store the contact details of the customer, we are using contact record. Then what it contains here, it is containing that the details like salutation, like as a Mr., Mrs., or Miss, or whatever. It will be holding the salutation of the customer and the first name of the customer and the last name of the customer and the title that means designation of the customer what is his designation he is a software engineer or he is a business person or what we can collect this information and he is a birth date what is the data birth of the customer here? Because based on his birthday, I would like to send some greeting card to that customer here. Because to maintain very good association. And then the phone number of the customer, fax number of the customer, his mobile number, his home phone. What is his home phone number? Other phone. If he's having any other phone numbers are there, other phone information. Assistant name. If he is a VIP person, he may be having some assistant, personal assistant, PA. So now what is his PS or PS name? And the assistant phone number. Assistant phone number. And the mailing address, nothing but what exact is address to contact this person. Okay, to meet the person. All this information we are collecting through the contact record. So contact record contains all the contact details to be used to contact the customer. Because when coming to the organization, not only selling out the products, we have to contact the customers also. We have to give the services also to the customers. So that here to contact the customer, what are the contact details are required, all the contact details we can able to place inside this contact record. So contact record contains all the contact details of the customer. Next, the opportunity record. So what exactly the opportunity record? Opportunity record describes how much business we did with the customer. How, many, how much revenue we have generated from the customer that will be indicated by the opportunity record. Then in this case, for example, let me explain in a general words. We can understand very easily opportunity means. For example, assume that today I went to the supermarket. Okay, I went to the supermarket to buy some vegetables. So I have purchased some vegetables like some tomato, some one kg, which is some 20 rupees, some potato, two kg, which is some 80 rupees, apples, some two kg, which is some 400 rupees. Four hundred rupees. Mango, which is some four kg. Four hundred rupees. These are the items I'm purchasing over here today. I went to the supermarket. I have purchased these items. So now, after selecting the items, when you go to the billing counter, they're preparing the bill, right? Yes. So what is the total amount over here? Total bill amount. Total bill amount is it will be having some nine hundred. Okay, so we have to pay the 900 rupees to the supermarket people. Okay, we have to pay this 900 rupees. 
to the supermarket people. Now, this entire bill, that means upon purchasing the products, whatever the bills are providing to you, whatever the bills are giving to you, that bill is called as an opportunity. Okay, what are the bill? What are the invoice they are generating for you? That bill is called as an opportunity. That means supermarket people got the opportunity. They got the chance to generate 900 rupees of revenue from your side. Okay, supermarket people got the opportunity to generate 900 rupees of revenue from your side. So that here, so now what are the opportunity they have generated? That means what are the bills they have generated inside that supermarket, that bill is called as opportunity. It may be any shop, it may be any organization. What are the bills they have generated, that bill is called as a opportunity. Then what it contains, it contains what items you have purchased. That means what product you have purchased. What is the quantity we have purchased? Then how much revenue we have generated here? This whole amount is available. So opportunity is always dealing with money. It is always dealing with money. That means how much money we have generated, how much revenue we have generated here from this customer, how much business we did with the customer that will be indicated by the opportunity. So generally in the real world, we are call it as a bill. But when coming to the CRM, we are calling it as opportunity. Okay. So now the opportunity record contains, it contains how much business it describes how much business how much a business we did with the customer the customer and how much revenue and how much revenue we have generated from the customer this whole information is available as part of your opportunity card. So opportunity is always dealing with money. So now in this case, as part of this opportunity card, it contains the details like the opportunity name. And then amount, how much amount has been generated over here? And then what is the close date and what date they have generated that our revenue over here? And the stage name, what is the current state like that? Here the whole information is available. So that here, opportunity is purely dealing with the how much business we did with the customer, how much revenue we have generated from the customer. This whole information is available inside your opportunity record. So these are the three records has been generated by Salesforce upon converting the lead as a customer. This entire process is called as lead conversion process in Salesforce. It is called as lead conversion process. It's a common question in every interview. What do you mean by this lead conversion process? Then you should be able to explain the whole process, whatever I have discussed today. Okay, so now lead conversion process. Then what do you mean by lead? Now let me explain here the complete process. Let me explain overall. If anybody asks in the entry point of you, what do you mean by lead conversion process? Then you should be able to explain over here. Now. So now when coming to the lead, lead is nothing but an organ, lead is nothing but a person who just showed interest in our product or service. Each and every organization is manufacturing the various products or they're offering the various services. Once the products or services are ready, then they're going to be giving the information about those products to the various people by conducting the various campaigns. During those campaigns, so many people are visiting those campaigns, they're collecting the details about those products. The people are showing some interest on those products. The people who just to show interest on that product or service, those are called as leads. So the marketing team is going to be conducting the various campaigns. Through those campaigns, they're collecting the various leads. Once the leads information has been captured, then the marketing team is going to be passing this lead records information to that sales team. Once the sales team has collected the leads information, then they will start contacting the lead over the phone or by sending some email notification or by meeting the people directly by taking some appointment. If required, they will follow up with the lead multiple times also. Once they have keep on contacting the lead, finally they will convince the lead to buy the product. Once the lead is ready to buy the product, then they are going to be converting the lead as a customer. 
upon converting the lead as a customer salesforce is generating three records first one is an account record which contains the basic details of the customer second one a contact record which contains the contact details of the customer third one an opportunity record which contains the business and the revenue information which we did with that customer flow this entire process is called as lead conversion process in salesforce okay this is the concept of lead conversion process over here clear now so now here in this case here as of now we have discussed about up to the sales process marketing process and sales process here what is that service process that we have we'll see in tomorrow's session in tomorrow's session we'll see the service process nothing but the continuation over here and then we'll see what is this account object account record contact record opportunity record what is the association between these objects also we'll see practically in tomorrow's session we'll continue with this features as well over here and then we'll see the few more concepts of this salesforce crm that is called as cloud services what are the various cloud services offered by salesforce we'll see in tomorrow's session also okay